Do you wish your students could have pull-in text inside of Seesaw? Maybe it's helpful hints, maybe it's an answer key, or maybe it's just something fun you want to give them inside of the Canvas. If you do, I have just the video for you. Stick around while we dive into how to create pull-in text right inside of Seesaw. The first thing I want to do is find an activity that I want to edit. I'm going to use Bean Goes on the Internet. This is a lesson offering we have all around K through 2 digital citizenship. What I'm going to do is go down to the student template and find a page where I want to add this pull in text to. Let's say that I just wanted to add an additional hint for students that they can learn from. I'm going to actually add it on this page right here. What I want to do is go over to the text or label tool and start a new text box with some of the words that I want this to have. Let's start with the words helpful hint and then I'm going to add a lot of spaces. Like when I say a lot, I mean a lot of spaces. Once I have our spaces all put in place, I'm then going to actually write my helpful hint to students. Remember, we can always ask an adult for help. Fantastic. So I have all my words in place. I just need to do a couple little things to change the text box. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to the three dots and change the style to be all the way filled in. This allows this to look more like a card and be something that can actually be pulled in from students. The next thing I'm gonna do is change a color to one that I think matches the actual activity I'm working with here. So let's pick one that kind of complements but doesn't overpower the page, uh, kind of like this, this orange like this. The last thing I'm gonna do is resize our text box. So I'm gonna grab this side and just pull this all the way over so that my text box looks kind of like this. I'm aiming for uh, an edge where all of the text that students read is lined up, but helpful hint is way over here. So you can see how important adding in all those spaces were when we actually did it. The last two things I'm gonna do is actually lock the size of this so that students don't accidentally resize it and put it somewhere where students can actually pull it in. Let's keep it right down here so it's kind of subtle but not in a place that students can't find it. So here is what it looks like when they're all finished. They have their content that they can play around with, and guess what? There's a helpful hint in the corner that students can pull in and listen to on their own just by using the simple label tool text box and pulling it off to the side just like that. So that is how you make pull-in text inside of Seesaw. You can add this to any different activities that you want to, or you can start from scratch and make a whole host of different pull-in texts for students to engage with. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next. Thank you so much for watching.